Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to do like a little shelf tour with you guys So I have like my little dorm shelf up here. I only have like two cubbies full But they're mostly books. I have not read just because I brought them up for so I could read them <laughs> I wanted to go I did like a little poll on Twitter to see if you guys wanted to see like a little shelf tour And then I could talk about each book and like the little goodies that I have on my shelf because I have a lot of like little things on my shelf So first we'll start off with the items and I'll show you guys like all the little things I have and then we'll talk about each book or like yeah we'll do that so this is the first little cubby that I have for the, like the little goodies on it and stuff I have Sabrina and Salem from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and then I have Peach Heel I have this little Animal Crossing block thing where you, you can change the numbers and then it has a bunch of months behind here that you could grab from I got this in a box that I actually found at Walmart. So if you're interested in that, they sell it at Walmart. It has a bunch of other Animal Crossing stuff in it. Got Jolteon. We got these little um, Animal Crossing characters. Uh, these are little amiibo cards that you can use. And yeah, they have little villagers on them. So you can invite these villagers to your campsite, which is cool. Um, this little thing I got a long time ago from somebody and it has like a little pearl in it which i can't really grab right now but it has a little pearl in it it's just this little treasure box that i keep with me um i also have this little pusheen with a heart i have a jaw jigsaw pin of this cat that my mom gave me and then this there shouldn't be this here but like uh it's a jar full of crystals so we got going over there oh and i have this little cat with a knife cute right cute 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 Coming up at the top i have this book i got from walmart it's hank green's book uh <laughs> i wanted to read it for a bit and it was i think it was cheap it was like 7.99 which is pretty good for a, an adult hardcover then i got dissolving classroom uh which i read and was on my favorites fangs which i read was on my favorites solutions and other problems by ali brosh i'm excited to read this it has like a lot of illustrations and just supposed to be funny Loveless, it has a main character who's asexual, and I want to read more by Alice Oseman because I loved her Heartstopper series. Something Happened to Allie Greenleaf, this book deals with sexual assault. I was sent it by the publisher, and I've been meaning to get around to it for a while. Well, not too long, but I've been meaning to get to it. Uh, this, they just gave us at my school, and I don't really want it. <laughs> then I have the second book in the Eldest Curses. I don't know. It's the last book of the white. Uh, Kayla from Letter to Read sent this to me for a gift. The one and only Bob. I loved the one and only Ivan, so I bought this <laughs> as well. I want to read that. Two arcs here. I've grown and then charming as a verb. I'm not. Oh. Okay, well, apparently I knock everything over. Um, but off to the right here, we have the Necronomicon. We have Birthday by Meredith Russo, A Mother's Reckoning, The Poppy War, The Exorcist, Watch Over Me, Stay Gold, uh, Tyler Johnson Was Here, Clap When You Land, Felix Ever After, Wicca, The Black Arts, Heartstopper Volumes 1 through 3, which I've read, Capturing the Devil, which I need to read so bad. But I kind of don't want this series to end. Like, I don't want to, I don't know if this is the last book. I think it is, but like, I don't want to wait for another book, you know? Like, I don't know <laughs> why I'm putting it off. Sleeping Beauties, I still need to read, and I feel I still need to read uh, The Starlet Sea. I've heard amazing things about so I have that there and then that's this little shelf coming over here we have more like academic stuff so these are my four textbooks for this semester so philosophy of death criminological theories uh, literary terms a glossary the introduction to literature and then this is a lot of stuff for like my either philosophy or mythology class so I have like Prometheus bound uh, I think this is yeah, the apology the Plato. We've got a few other things like the Library of Greek Mythology, Theogenian Work in Days, Defense of Socrates, Metamorphosis, which was on my favorites list. It, I cracked the spine, unfortunately, but I kind of had to because I underlined every page and I needed the book open. I also have little epic bookmarks that I bought. That I bought these all separately, but I put them on the same thing. But I have Pennywise, this little dude, and then L from Death Note. <laughs> I also have The Republic by Plato. I have this pop manga drawing book that my mom got me. I have an opalite here, which is one of my favorites. I have a moonstone here, which is another one of my favorites. 
this thing hates focusing on what I want it to, which is lovely for a camera. But <laughs> I have the Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. I got this for Christmas. My mom had to like go out of her way to get it for me, so thank you. Uh, 4321 is up here. I just read this. This was my first book of the year. Lore is a new book I bought. It's super cool, so I'll show you guys. It's by Alexander Bracken, and it's, it involves mythology. And it just looks so cool. So I pre-ordered this one. And I pre-ordered it for only like $15. And the hardcover is worth like $25. So I was super happy with that. And that I got it in the mail. I also have The Odyssey and the Iliad by Homer. I have to read both of these for my mythology class. Punching the Air. I bought this at Walmart. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I just specify that. But I remember I saw it on sale. And I was like, sure. And I have heard good things. I wanted to read from Ibiza Boy before. For Bonnie and Other Parties, this is like a signed copy from The Strand. I have heard amazing things about it and I want to read that. I believe it's a collection of stories, if I'm not mistaken. I also have Witches Steep in Gold, which I got from uh, HTC Frenzy, so thank you so much to them. But this book comes out in... This book comes out in April. I don't want to take it out all the way because everything will fall. But yes, it's very beautiful. Very excited to read this one. Uh, the Secret History by Donna Tart. I, I want to. I really like the dark, the dark academia aesthetic, and I feel like I would really like this book. At least I hope so. I heard there's a, like a lot of tr trigger warnings, but I brought this up here, and then I recently bought The Song of Achilles, which I've wanted for a while. Um, but this one I got on sale, which was nice. And I have Pennywise and. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you're interested in picking any of these books up or if you've heard of any of them or if you've read them or anything like that. Just let me know. Let's have a little chat down below. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye.